Hi guys, welcome to Sim Captain. It's Friday night, April 24th, and it is Fly the Alligator Alley Friday Night Ops. We're going to fly from uh, Fort Myers, Southwest Florida, to Fort Lauderdale International, one of the featured airports. Uh, we're not going to go into Miami because uh, they even put a notation to expect holds and delays, so I'm not up for that tonight. But we are going to, uh, let's go inside, it's loud out here. Well, it's much quieter. Get the airplane going. And, uh, master switch is on. Alternator master switch is on. The lights are on. Panel lights as required. Avionics master is on. Fuel quantity, we have 2,855 pounds. Circuit breakers are checked. We're going to close the doors. Doors are closed. Lights are out. Let's get the um, ATIS, which is uh, 2465. Runway 6. Read back all hold short instruction. Advise on initial contact. You have information Golf. Golf. Southwest Florida and Airport Ada Information Golf 2253 Zulu. Wind 070 at 10. Visibility 10. 4,800 scattered. 7,000 scattered. Temperature 24. 2.18. Altimeter 2987. Landing and departing runway 6. Arrivals expect visual approach runway 6. Read back or hold short instruction. Advise on initial contact. You have information. Okay, we have information Gulf. Uh, we'll call ground for clearance. At Fort Myers ground, citation 1-0, Charlie looking for IFR to Fort Lauderdale. Citation 1, Sierra Charlie, Fort Myers ground, clear to the Fort Lauderdale International Airport via the radar vectors AVER, then it's filed. Maintain 4,000, expect uh, flight level, actually, ex expect 10,000, uh, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency, one, two, standby. Uh-oh. Got to sort it out. Departure frequency 125.15, squawk 1141. All right, citation 10, Charlie. We're clear to Fort Lauderdale, Raider Vector Zabber. We'll climb to 4,000, expect 10, 10,000 in 10 minutes. Departure is 125, decimal 15, squawk 1141. One, one, November 1, Sierra Charlie, read back correct. Runway 6 for departure, Fort Myers altimeter 2987. Call and ready for taxi. Okay, we'll expect runway 6, 2987, and we'll call you for taxi, 1 Sierra Charlie. All right, parking brakes are on. Rotating beacon is on. Fuel pump is on. Throttles are idle. We're clear left, we're clear right. Bleed air number two. Starter is engaged. Number two is turning. N2 is on the rise. ITT is on the rise. Fuel valve is opened. And we have good ignition. Bleed air is back to normal. Starter switch is selected to ground. Engine is stabilizing. Temps and pressures look good. We're going to switch bleed air over to number one. Number one starter engaged. Number one is turning. N2 is on the rise. ITT is on the rise. Fuel valve is opened. Good ignition. Bleed air is back to normal. Starter switch is selected to ground. Beat a popper. Temps and pressures look good. Engines are stable. Everything's in the green. We have our ATIS. We have our clearance. Clock is running. Transponder is Squawk and Charlie. 1141 is in the box. Autopilot is off. He wants us to climb to 4,000, 250 knots below 10. 
Flight director is on. November 300 Alpha Juliet. Set. Four miles ground, ready, copy clearance. 2987. We're ready. Gear selectors down, lights are tested, good test. Peter heat's on, de ice is on, flaps are set for takeoff. November 300 Alpha Juliet, cleared to the Fort Lauderdale International Airport. Trim is set for takeoff. Radar vectors Winko, climbing chain 4000. Expect 10000, 10 zero minutes after departure. Both departure speed read zero, airspeed read zero. One. 25.15 squawk 1160. Alright, King Air 300, Alpha Juliet, clear to Fort Lauderdale radar vectors, Winko, climb maintain 4000, 110, and 10, 2515, and squawk 1160. November 300, Alpha Juliet, read back correct, runway 6 for departure, 4 miles at altimeter 29 or 87, call or initial taxi. Runway 6, we'll let you know 87, uh, 300 AJ. At Fort Myers, ground citation, 1 Sierra Charlie with Gulf, we're ready for taxi. November 1 Sierra Charlie, runway 6, taxi via Alpha. Runway 6 via Alpha, 1 Sierra Charlie. All right, that's easy. November 4, 3, X-ray Sierra, Fort Myers, ground, ready copy clearance. Right. We're ready, X-ray Sierra. Taxi lights are on. November 4, 3, X-ray Sierra, cleared to the Fort Lauderdale International Airport, via radar vector is Winko. Climb maintain 4,000, expect 10,000, one zero minutes after departure. Get rolling here. Departure Left frequency 125.15, squawk 1124. All right, brakes are tested. 43 X-ray Sierra to clear the Fort Lauderdale radar vectors, wing go 4,000, expect 10,000 and 10, 125.15, 1124, we're at the FBO with call for a tax. Engines are green, heading indicator turns properly on both sides. And over sides. three, uh, X-ray Sierra, read back correct. Runway 6 for departure, call on taxi. Spoilers are deployed. Three, taxi with call, 43 X-ray. Full deployment, light illuminates, will retract. November 43 X-ray Sierra, runway 6, taxi via Alpha. Runway 6 via Alpha, 43 X-ray Sierra. We gotta do a reverser test, but I already told that. Ready to taxi. On the taxiway. Hope everyone's doing well during this quarantine and pandemic. It's been really uh, stressful and a lot and of ground levels Ground 300 Alpha Juliet, it's ready to taxi. Oh, because going to be right behind me. November 0 Alpha Juliet, runway 6, taxi via Alpha. 6 via Alpha, 0 Alpha Juliet. All right, reverser test. Two are unlocked, two are in reverse, and two are stowed. All right, good test. With departure briefing, we're going to depart uh, runway 6. Runway 6 is 12,000 feet long. We do have 2,827 pounds of fuel. We expect a normal departure with standard callouts. V1 is going to be 130, VR is 134, and V2 is 136. Any uh, failure before rotation, we abort and stay here. We do that by saying abort, bringing the power levels to idle, deploying the spoilers, engaging the reversers, and apply full braking. Any failure after VR, with the exception of fire and the loss of directional control, will take the problem to the air and either return here to southwest Florida or press on to Miami. Alpha Julia, give way to the uh, citation passing to your left or right. All right, we'll give way, turn it off to it. He's got different scenery because he's in the grass. Um, nav radios are uh, set. Um, I do have to put departure in the comms. Peter heat's on, de ice is on, yaw damp is off. Starter switches are going to continuous. Uh, fuel pump is on, flaps are set, trim is set. November 0, Alpha Juliet. Um, I'm going to have a route change for you, advise uh, ready to copy. Yeah, I'm ready, 300 agent. Lineup check is next. I really don't like that fuel pump, it pesters me. I have not flown flight sim or real airplane or anything in two weeks, and that might be the longest stretch November I've ever zero, spent away from aviation. Juliet, clear to Fort Lauderdale International via radar vectors jingle. Radar vectors jingle, you're off, Juliet. 
November 43 X ray Sierra, I'm going to have a route change for you. Advise ready to copy. We're ready, X ray Sierra. November 43 X ray Sierra, clear to Fort Lauderdale International Airport via radar vectors jingle. Radar vectors jingle to Fort Lauderdale, 43 X ray Sierra. And November 4-3, X-ray Sierra, read back correct. November 1, Sierra Charlie, contact uh, Fort Myers Tower, 128.75. Over to Tower on 2875. Thanks a lot, 1 Sierra Charlie. So long. Alright, stop. November 0, Alpha Julia, contact Fort Myers Tower. Uh, good evening, Fort Myers Tower, citation 1 Sierra Charlie, hold short, runway 6, with golf ready for departure. Citation 1 Sierra Charlie, uh, Fort Myers Tower, good evening, hold short, runway 6, uh, aircraft on 2 mile final. We're hold short, runway 6, 1 Sierra Charlie. Tower King, you're throwing it off Juliet's number 2, hold short. Right now it'll be nav lights, oh, uh, departures 2515, put that in, 2515. Threshold. November 1 Charlie Kilo, Fort Myers Tower, traffic. Taxi lights are off. Landing and strobe lights when we take the runway. After takeoff checks will be next. We don't need this. I'm going to pull up, uh, let's see, where's that landing aircraft? There's the King Air behind us. Pull up Fort Lauderdale. Is that the aircraft landing? He's a mile out, but he looks so low. I don't know what the deal is with that. Take an outside view real quick. See that King Air behind, two King Airs behind me. Charlie Kilo for Marsh Tower. What is going on with that guy? All right, I don't know what just happened. I thought there was a plane on final. I don't know where he's going. Okay, Citation 1, Sierra Charlie, fly heading 060, wind 065 at 10, runway 6, clear for takeoff. Alright, uh, runway heading, runway 6, we're clear for takeoff, 1 Sierra Charlie. All right. Oh, and 1 Sierra Charlie, if you're just uh, wondering what happened, I think the plane that disconnected on short final, and now he's in the ramp, so he's not, a, not an issue. Yeah, we saw that happen. All right, light strobes, pops. Tower King Air 300, Alpha Juliet, hold short, number one. This is runway six. King Air 300, Alpha Juliet, from Iron Tower, team. Temps of pressure look good. We're going to advance the takeoff power. Takeoff power is set. Airspeed's alive. Eighty knots. We'll cross track. Two good engines. Continue. V one. Rotate. V two. Positive rate. Gear up. Gear up selected. And gears in transit. All damp on. Gears up. Lights are out. 
100 above. Flaps are coming up. Flaps are up and indicated. We got a good stable climb. Citation 10, Charlie, contact uh, Fort Myers, approach 125.15. Good day. All right, 10, Charlie, we're switching. Good day. All right. Fort Myers, approach 125.15. Good evening, uh, Fort Myers departure, citation 1, Sierra Charlie, we're climbing through 1,400, runway heading. Hello, 1, Charlie, uh, Sierra Charlie, we're going to have to write a contact, climb maintain 1, Sierra Thousand. Climb maintain 1, zero, ten thousand, one zero, Charlie. All right, after takeoff checks. And number 1, Sierra Charlie, proceed to A, bear with some navigation. All right, direct to A, bear, 1, Sierra Charlie. All right, uh, gears up, lights are out, flaps are retracted and indicated, yaw damp is on, autopod is checked and set, altimeter is the local setting, we can turn that pump off, starter switches go to flight, above 10, the landing lights go off, and we are not going to go into the flight levels, so we don't have to worry about that. Number one, Mr. Charlie Connect, Miami Center, 1Q8.22. Center on 2822 for 10 Charlie. We're switching. Good night. Good night. Whoa. Uh, good evening, Miami Center Citation 10 Charlie. We're climbing through 4000 for 10,000 direct to Aber. Uh, citation 10 Charlie, Miami Center. Call and maintain 10,000. I clear direct to uh, Swag on the jingle arrival. All right, climb to 10,000 direct to Swag for 10 Charlie. Miami Center, good evening. Delta Menu. 951, flight level 330 to Endu. Delta 951, Miami Center. Right. And there we go, we're going direct to Swag. I'll hold the setting right here. It's a little bit turbulent. There's definitely some thunderstorms in the area. We're going to have to be a little conscious of that. I've seen some lightning. Uh, cruise checklist will be next. 10,000 will be our top altitude. Um, oh, I have low battery on my iPad. That's not good. Jingle. this up on my phone. Because I might lose my iPad. I can't believe I didn't charge that. 5%? I don't even remember that happening. Maybe because it's been sitting here for two weeks and I haven't touched it. But I'll pull up the chart on my phone just to make sure I have the info I need. Delta 951, what's your normal Mach number? Delta 951, normally around 0.74, but presently we're doing 0 0.80 for spacing. Delta 951, resume normal speed. Yeah, resume normal speed, Delta 951. Miami Center, King Air 300, Alpha Julia, 3.7, climbing 10,000. One to go. King Air 300, Alpha Julia, Miami Center, Edger Clerk, uh, direct. Jingle and maintain 10,000 Miami altimeter 29 or 800. Direct jingle 10,000 89 or 300 agent. Here comes 10,000. Zero, hey, you're off. off. Juliet, after jingle, do you have the jingle six run? Jingle at 8,000. Uh, I can get it. I prefer not to do it though. 300 agent, whatever y'all need. Okay. Uh, it would help since Lauderdale's landing west if you can fly the arrival. Yeah, I can load it up. I'll need about uh, two minutes. The landing okay, west. November 0, Alpha Juliet, clear to Fort Lauderdale Airport via direct jingle and the jingle 6 arrival, maintain 10,000. Direct jingle, jingle 6, 10,300, AJ. Number 1, Sierra Charlie, cross jingle at maintain 8,000, Miami, altimeter 29 or 800. Cross jingle at 8,000, 1, Sierra Charlie. How far? 
overhead is jingle, 32 miles. Uh, what is Port Lauderdale's ATIS? That's what I mean. Thirty-five point zero. Let's see if we pick up the ATIS real quick. I left the Freud runway two eight right or two eight left. Departing runways runway two eight right and two eight left. Simultaneous operations are being conducted on parallel runways. Attention all aircraft. Hazardous weather information available from ATC. CPBLC serve available. Aircraft tank. Seven thousand for the final three hundred AJ. Shoreline traffic. Numerous birds in the vicinity of the airport. Three Michael runway hold short instruction. Advise on initial contact. You have information echo. Echo. Lime is in that data one. Uh, Collection data is one minute two. Air Force data's information echo. Seven three five zero. One three five zero and six just one four. Visibility one zero. Fuel clouds at three thousand five hundred. Ceiling five thousand broken. Seven thousand five hundred broken. Two five thousand over ten. Temperature two five. Two point two two. Altimeter two nine or nine or one. Uh, Arrival Miami, Delta, 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 Deviation left, of course, approved when able, direct side, press on, will advise Delta 951. I don't know if we'll get 28 left or right. Delta 0192, Miami Center, Roger. I'm going to guess the right side first, and then left. Number one, Sierra Charlie, contact Miami, approach 133.77, 3377. Approach on 3377, one Sierra Charlie, we're switching, so long. Good evening, Fort Lauderdale. Approach, citation, 1 Sierra Charlie's with you, level at uh, 1 0 10,000. We're going to cross Jingle at 8,000. We do have echo. 114.4 is the VOR. Citation, uh, 1 Sierra Charlie, my, uh, Fort Lauderdale approach, good evening. Thanks for echo. Expect vectors for the Alice runway 28 left the, and uh, descend to maintain 8,000. Okay, uh, we'll expect ILS 28 left down to 8,000, 1 0 Charlie. Okay, 28 left. Well, that answers that question, and now we know. So we'll get rid of 28 right. We'll pull up ILS 28 left. ILS 28 left, frequency is 11175. 111.75, enter. Approach course is 267. I see that set, 267. Just crossing altitudes, 2,500. Minimums are 200. Missed approach is a climb to 1,000, then a climbing left turn to 4,000 on the Fort Lauderdale VOR DME radio 2602 Gedgey intersection, Fort Lauderdale 15 DME and hold. Continue climb and hold to 4,000. Okay. Well, we're going right into some weather. The network is very busy, and there's going to be weather, so that's going to hurt my frame rates. It was very smooth departing out of uh, Fort Myers, but Fort Lauderdale, uh, you know, combination of weather, scenery, and busy traffic will will suffer. And it's tough on me. It's lagging real bad, especially as we go through the clouds. Larry, 
approach, Jeff. This is 094 descending via decal 5. Jeff, this is 094. Uh, my approach, good evening. Expect dial us from right 28 left. Altimeter 2991. We'll expect uh, 28 left runway ILS uh, for 794. Copy altimeter 2991. Thanks. at uh, 8,000, and we're going to be crossing Jingle in four nautical miles. Altimeter set. And there's Jingle. Citation 1 Sierra Charlie, uh, fly heading 120. We'll fly heading at 1201 Sierra Charlie. Let's pick up the 794, maintain 6, uh, so maintain 6,000 and uh, turn right heading 350. Down to 6,000, uh, right to 350, 794. Are we doing 28 right? No, 28 left. Two eight left. I guess. Uh, citation 1 Sierra Charlie, this is maintain 4,000. Alright, we're out of 8 for 4, 1 Sierra Charlie. I don't have an ILS for the left side, only the right side. That's okay. I can work with it. Because we have a, we'll be able to see the airport. So let's uh, decide where we need to exit the runway after landing on 28 left. We Lauderdale land. approach, King Air 300 off Juliet 7000, direct jingle. Two eight left will be uh, exiting to the right. Good evening, expect dial us runway 28 right. Uh, Fort Lauderdale, Altimeter 2991, descend main, uh, maintain 7000. All right, we'll expect ILS 28 right, 901, 300 to the HF. On 28 right, we'll exit to the right. Zero one zero, Charlie, uh, turn right heading zero, nine or zero. Right turn zero, nine, zero, one zero, Charlie. And make that a left turn, left turn one, uh, zero, nine or zero. Left turn zero, nine, zero, one zero, Charlie. I, I Jet 794, weird. descend and maintain at 4,000 and uh, turn left hitting 280. Out of 6 for 4, left to 280, 794. I thought he was spinning me. Oh, it's so turbulent. That wind's a little gusty, too. What are we gusting to 14? 3506 gust to 14. It's a little bit better below the clouds as we're descending. Rain. 
Jet Blue 794, uh, flashing 2 uh, make it 300. Right to 300794. Wow, look how much we're getting tossed around here. It's ridiculous. And, uh, Citation 1 Sierra Charlie, turn right, heading 100. Right turn 100, 1 Sierra Charlie. 1,000 to go. Station one zero Charlie, uh, now fly heading one two zero, please. One two zero on the heading one zero Charlie. Kind of in and out of the rain here. And just so everybody's aware, on frequency we do have a lot of uh, different approaches online. So if I give you a whole bunch of little turns, it's just to uh, so I don't use anyone else's airspace. So uh, thanks everyone. Hell yeah. So I'm getting vectored around, so I don't have to worry about the rest of the uh, arrival procedure. Jet Blue 794. So I'm going to activate uh, the approach. Jet Blue 794, contact approach 133.72. Good day. 095 on heading, 1 Sierra Charlie. see the uh, high rises of downtown Miami. We got Fort Lauderdale on site. This airport right in front is North Perry Airport. I've actually been there in real life. Very short runways at that airport. I need to like pause for a brief moment here to let the everything load. See, that helps everything load super fast, and then I can unpause. Oh, better slow down. I'm going to come screaming up to the airport here. Oh no, that's going to hurt my radio volume. 
pausing. That's what does it. Eureka. That's what does it to me. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's what does it. Now I know. And when the volume drops down, and I couldn't figure out what was causing it. Oh, shoot. It's terrible timing for this to mess up on me. I'm just going to do it from the top down. Map view, that always seems to work. Yep, everything loaded up. Sorry about that. Approach King Air 43, X ray Sierra. We're level at 7,000. Across Jingle at 7, we've got Echo. King Air 43, X ray Sierra. Miami Approach, good evening. Expect Dallas runway 28 uh, right. Uh, four lo and uh, thanks for Echo. Maintain 7,000. 7,000, expect the ILS 28 right, 43 X ray Sierra. Well, we certainly have the airport in sight. Frame rates are getting crushed again. What was that, a helicopter? I guess that was a helicopter. There's a coastline. I do like South Florida. It's a fun place. I would never live there. It's a nice visit, but... I'm guessing I'm going to get vectored out and follow this traffic in, this JetBlue. Frame rates really stink right now. Well, I don't want to pause. It'll mess my volume up. Now I know. Now I figured it out. What a eureka moment that was. However, frame rates are terribly suffering bad. Citation 1 Sierra Charlie. Contact approach 133.72. Good day. Approach on 3372 for 1 Sierra Charlie. So long. 3372. Uh, good evening, Fort Lauderdale approach. Citation 1, Sierra Charlie's with you, level at 4,000 with Echo. Number 1, Sierra Charlie, Miami approach, turn 20 degrees right, just had to maintain 3,000. All right, 20 to the right, down to 3,000, 1, Sierra Charlie. going on. Activate vectors to final. There we go. Alright, maybe I'm following. No, I gotta be following that jet blue. That guy's too high. There's some lightning up ahead. I'll tip there checked. Gotta do the approach in range. Altimeter local setting. ADIS is listened. Nav instruments are set, flight instruments are set, primary nav is set and identified. Glide slope crossing altitude was, we reviewed, it was 2,500. Minimums we reviewed are 200. We reviewed the missed approach. The approach chart was reviewed. I mean, it is completed. Landing lights and logo lights, we are below 10. So I never turn the landing lights off. Put the logo lights on. Marker beacon is on. Starter switches. Number one, Sierra Charlie, continues. turn left, heading three, correction zero one zero. All right, left uh, zero one zero for one zero Charlie. Left turn zero one zero. Uh, starter switches are continuous. The fuel pump goes back on. Uh, landing lights are on. Altimeter checked. Once again, I check it again. Flaps as required, and then landing checklist is next. Should slow it down probably to oh, slow to 200. Number 
number one Sierra Charlie, turn left, hitting 290, join runway 28 left localizer. All right, 290 to join the left side localizer, one Sierra Charlie. Speed is 180. I mean, uh, well, it is sort of the approach speed. November here. 1, Sierra Charlie, 5 miles from Yobus, maintain, correction, maintain 3,000 till established and localize it. Good ILS, turn late 28 left approach. All right, 3,000 till established. We're clear for the ILS, 28 left, 1, Sierra Charlie. November 1, Sierra Charlie, traffic 11 o'clock, uh, 5 miles southbound. Uh, 1,300 is uh, Learjet landing the right side. Uh, one zero, Charlie, we have the traffic in sight. Number one zero, Charlie, Roger, contact Lauderdale Tower, 119.3. Tower on 19.3 for one zero, Charlie, we're switching, good night. 19.3. Speed checks, flaps 15, and 15 indicated. Uh, good evening, uh, Fort Lauderdale Tower, Citation 1, Sierra Charlie is with you on the ILS for 28 left with Echo. November 1, Sierra Charlie is Fort Lauderdale Tower, good eve. Plan is 3506, got someone for runway 28 left, clear to land. 28 left, clear to land, 1, Sierra Charlie. Checks, gear down. Gears going down. Alright, gears down. Three green lights indicated. Flaps, uh, we'll work our way down. Slow the approach speed down a little bit. Alright, uh, then it'll just be auto throttle, autopilot, flight director, and the all damp. Checks. We'll go 30 on the flaps. 35, I mean. Jet 61 Whiskey, welcome for Lauderdale. Are you, uh, are you parking on the north side? Right. Uh, we're going to be going over the. All pounds done. Point All right, contact ground with 1.4. All pounds are off. And the all damp is going off. Speed checks, full flaps. All right, 40 indicated. We are clear to land. Ref plus six. Sink it nine. Getting a little low. There we go. Ref plus six, sink it four. Low gust, low gust, we're good. Fire's a little wind. 
and shift down there. Minimums. We're landing. Whoa, got a major gusty down low. 100. 50. 40. 30. Whoa. 20. There we go. 10. Hold it, hold it. Oh. Oh, we're floating. Oh, a touchdown. That was a little ugly. Spoilers are deployed. Reversers are out. 80 knots. Flies low braking, low braking. And 50 knots. Reversers stowed. We're just going to go one more. Basically to the end. Whew, it's dusty down low. It was fine up, up at altitude. Getting off at golf. We'll stop. After landing checks. Spoilers are retracted. Flaps are coming up. Landing lights and strobe lights are off. Mark the beacon is off, fuel pump's off. So that one's here, Charlie. Uh, contact ground with 1.4, it. So our switch is off. Ground point four for one Sierra Charlie, thanks. To 1.4. Fort Lauderdale ground, citation one Sierra Charlie, we're clear of runway 28 left going to Signature. November one Sierra Charlie, taxi to parking via Juliet, Quebec. Golf, Lima, Echo. All right, uh, we're going to signature via Julia, Quebec, Golf, Lima, Echo, one Sierra Charlie, thanks. All right. That was really a wonderful uh, Friday night ops. Fly the Alligator Alley, uh, very smooth out of uh, Fort Myers and into Fort Lauderdale. Really enjoyed this one. Um, what was that taxi instructions again? Juliet to Quebec, okay. And then Lima, okay. And then Echo, got it. Uh, this scenery is really nice at Fort Lauderdale. I think this is the Fly Tampa scenery. That's a 419 monitor Fort Lauderdale Tower, 119.3. Uh, good day. 193, Delta 419, see you, thanks. Just gonna do a quick top down to make sure I know where I'm going. Yep, we gotta turn here. Gotta turn here, turn here. So out of that ground, American 325, ready to attack. American 325, taxi runway 28 right. You this can is go Lima. Tango 1 Bravo. 28 right, via Tango Tango 1 Bravo, American 325. And then, oh, left on American Echo. American 325, you can just go ahead and monitor Fort Lauderdale Tower 119.3, enjoy your flight. Good night. Uh, Tower 19-3, thanks for all you do. See you next time, American 325. Not this one, but the next one. was 44 minutes in the air, so not bad. Wait, Echo, hold on. Yes, Echo, that's right. Left on Echo. All right, left here. Oh, no, but it seems a little quiet. You know, the network's been mega busy with this whole quarantine thing, but tonight's a little quieter than it's been. 
where maybe everyone went to Miami. That might be what's going on. There's Fort Lauderdale Tower. Delta jet departing. Well, the nice thing about pulling up in this direction, we're, we're facing the correct direction for the way they park them. That signature here. And as we go into the non-movement area, I put the transponder onto uh, standby. Enter the ramp. Air signature. Flight support. Well, since I'm the only one at the ramp, I'll do the front door treatment. Pull right up to the front door. All right, and we're going to bring her to a stop. Parking brakes on. Thanks for coming along. Hope you like and subscribe. And until next time, happy landings. All right, fuel cut off one and two. Beacon's off. The clock is stopped.